It's the I Can't Mom Today podcast with Heather, the new mom, and Vera, the <clears throat> seasoned mom. I Can't Mom Today. Hey, this is Vera and Heather back again with another episode of I Can't Mom Today podcast. Hi, Vera. Hello, Heather. Que pasó? We are so weird. I thought I'd switch things up. <laughs> I know. <And> it's... <laughs> it was another language. Very funky for you to do that. <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? Uh, uh, I'm good. I don't know where my kid is, but other than that, I'm good. You, you don't know where your kid is. Like, is he missing? <laughs> well, no, not really. He just, he was really, he was annoyed last night because Jer Bear ate some of his pasta that he had cooked. And um, I was at Bunko and he was like, where are you? And I was like, I'm at Bunko. He's like, fine, have fun. <laughs> I was like, what's the matter? Jerry ate my pasta. I'm like, uh, okay, well, I'll send you money for food. Well, I don't want money for food because I know you don't have a lot of money right now. And then I feel bad. And I was like, okay, then what do you want me to do for you? Well, just have fun at Bunko. <laughs> like, well, well apparently and- now I'm not going to have fun because I'm going to be worried about you. And this is just catchback for when he was a teenager and did the same thing because you know <laughs> uh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. He's super picky. So anyway, I'm sure there were so, some leftovers that were eaten at some point. Yeah. Well, it's a, you know, the, deal with it, dude. You know, otherwise, yeah. go make some more money and live alone. Disappointment <laughs> is part of life. Exactly. So anyway, so he didn't come home. I have I am assuming he went to spend the night at a friend's house because he was too annoyed to look at Jer Bear. So yeah, I mean, listen, I've also been there with Jer Bear. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that's pretty normal. Like it's a room, yeah. like, like you say, roommate drama. Exactly. Roommate so drama. anyway, so I'm I'm it's only you know, it's early still for him. So I'm assuming wherever he spent the night, he's probably still asleep. So I'll, I'll text him <laughs> in a little bit and just be like, hey. Where are you? Does he have a job? Uh, well, no, not a regular. I mean, he he teaches karate, but that's only in the you know afternoons. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so yeah. Than that everything's good. I'm <laughs> good, excellent. I heard uh, you talking to Rue the dog earlier, and she's still doing well with her training and everything. Yeah, I mean, you know, I just hate it because, like, evidently she's going to be a dog that's just going to be hard to to train because I, so we worked with a trainer and um, she did amazing things like really truly like chain, like turned her probably uh-huh. 90 degrees, <laughs> but there's still like 90 more. And so, but the trainer's just like, you know, she may just not be a people person or people dog, you know um, uh-huh. not that she, she's not like mean and like, you know, attacky, but she definitely barks at people. And uh, so we're trying to get her to not bark at people or at least limit that. Yeah. So I brought her into, um, I work with a stationer one day a week at the right now that does like all wedding suites and like beautiful things. Um, Nap Design Co. If you want to check it out, because she's pretty amazing. Um, anyways, sorry. So little, little plug. <laughs> um, but so there's this giant window and the door is just a giant window as well. And so people walk by and tip on typical days in the office that we're in, um, it rarely, maybe 15 people, 15 times do people walk by and like, a you know, the time then there was like six hours yesterday. Oh my God. There was like so many, it was a grand central station. Like there were, I mean, I brought treats to the, the, um, dog person said, you know, throw treats up there. Like, woo, look at how exciting this is. Yay. You uh-huh. know, focusing on the treats versus the people. And so uh-huh. she'll get used to when people walk by, get treats, happy times, blah, 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 versus I need to be a protect. I need to protect. Um, uh-huh. And so it like there was like somebody had like um what did they have? They had uh like a some kind of what are those things called where you raise money and you vote you fundraiser? Yeah, kind of like that. But it's anyways, they had something like that where they had like a bunch of stuff they were bringing out to the car. So they were, they were back and forth. Doo, 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 doo. And then, then another group had like people like coming in with like suitcases. I was like, what is going on today? Oh, like a silent so, auction? Yes, maybe something uh, like that. Yeah. And okay. so I was like super stressed like all day, like trying to get her not to bark. I mean, she did she did well, but then I started running out of treats because I was like, I, I didn't anticipate for me to give her treats every three seconds. <laughs> because I'm, I, I'm not kidding you. Yesterday, I was just an anomaly. 
<laughs> You're going to end up with two, a fat barky dog <laughs> for two hours. It was like that. Then rest oh, of the two, the other two hours, nothing like no oh. back to normal. But so then I was, but I was almost out of treats at that point. So I'm like, <laughs> so I didn't catch it as often. Yeah. It was, it was a mess. It was a mess. So I think I need to switch from treats to like some other dog food that she doesn't get every day. So. <laughs> and how old is Rue now? She is seven months tomorrow, right? Oh no. Hold on. Yeah. Seven months tomorrow. Oh mm-hmm. boy. Or two days. Anyways. Yes. Or no. Seven days, seven days in seven days, she'll be seven months, but yeah. So, but she's, I mean, she's remarkably better. So I'm not going to complain. It's really like, it is, we're doing okay. Yeah. Well, maybe, you know, what time again, you know, unfortunately dogs are still puppies till they're about two is my experience. Yeah. Uh, So yeah. Well, she was like, you know, she's going to probably pick a few dogs that are going to be like her best friends and that's it. But then the dogs next door are super barky and the dogs uh, behind, I mean, just everybody's super barky. So it's, we're kind of like up against a, you know, barky fence. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's hard because I want her to like get that attribute, but yeah. So. Anywho, oh. it is what it is. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It really is. Um, I just don't want it to get to summer where we we want to spend more time outside and like she's barking at everybody around us because they're outside, you know, and enjoying their backyard. (laughs) Yeah. Darn them. I know. Yeah, exactly. So I just don't want it to be like that. So exactly. Exactly. Um, So today we are going to talk about Mother's Day coming up and just it's early this year, right? No, I feel like it's late this year. What? I feel like yeah, it's always like around. It's, Maybe I'm getting that mixed up in Memorial Day. <laughs> yeah, no, it's usually the at the beginning of May, and I feel like it's closer to the middle almost. Yeah, well, I thought it was always maybe. Yeah, I think I'm just mixing it up with Memorial Day. Maybe I just never knew, and I was just like, "Some someone tell me." Uh, <laughs> so Mother's Day, your day, you're a mother. Come on, you know what? I feel like every single Mother's Day, there's been some reason why I don't get to celebrate. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> wah, wah. Yeah, it is what it is. It's fine. Well, generally, the general consensus, and I think we've talked about this before for yeah. Mother's Day, is that we don't really need things. We just want time to relax and time to ourselves. Yeah. Like to be left alone. <laughs> well, I think, but I think there there was like Brian and I are very different. Like for Father's Day, he wants to hang out with us. I mean, he just wants to get a nap. He wants to nap at some point. Yeah. But he wants to like, hang out with family and see, he's, he's like, cause I love my family. I'm like, I love my family too, but I also want some time away. Exactly. My this is my day. Let me bask in it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So Let I, me rent I, a hotel well, room and be gone for 24 exactly. hours. Have a whole bed to myself with no animals. Mm-hmm. and no. Like nothing. maybe rent it the night before and then get it until the next night and the next morning. Yeah. No, yeah. For 48 hours. Yes. And just mm-hmm. chill. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Sneeze. Yeah. Sorry, I should I didn't have a chance to mute. <laughs> woof. Woof. I should have muted you. I have the power. <laughs> but anyway, but then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. Well then, well, I found this poll and I couldn't believe it. That's why I I was talking to Heather about this and I thought we should talk about it. Yeah. It's supposedly, according to this poll, 73% of moms think they're the best mom in the world. Not just a good mom, but the best mom in the world. I mean, good for them for having like some confidence. Yeah. But who are these people? Yes. (laughs) Because I I feel like you're always, you you know, you could, I think I'm I'm a good mom. Am I the best mom in the world? Do I have lots of areas of improvement? Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So I guess I just maybe. I don't know. I don't like, are these, they, are they saying the best mom for their kids? Which yes, that could be the case. Um, it just said know. the best mom in the world, but then they also, the, there are a couple other statistics that came with the survey. Yeah. Um, also this one, I can agree with 80% of moms also said their family would be totally lost without them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Yes. I mean, cause let's be honest here. Who really keeps track of, all the doctor's appointments, all the mm-hmm. activities, the calendar, the mm-hmm. yeah. 
And as much as I told myself that, you know, I'm not going to have that all that put on me. <laughs> it just happens. It does. It happens. Well, because otherwise it just you try to let it go and then stuff falls apart. Yeah. And then you're there like trying to pick up the pieces. And it's like, I'd rather just go ahead and keep track of it than than pick up the pieces in the aftermath and get upset. Mm-hmm. So I just try not to get upset. And then, well, then, too, in order to not get PO'd, I tell myself, well, because I'm in control of the calendar, I get to make all the decisions, too, which is oh, kind of nice. Like what? You know? Well, I get to choose what we're doing on the weekend. <laughs> oh, really? I do. Don't you? No. Oh, OK. See, well, I get well, obviously, there's some kid activities that are mandatory or the kid really wants to do, but. <laughs> the kid <clears throat> but as far as like you know husband stuff and 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 other things like i get to make the choices and say so you know because nobody knows what's going on i can decide nah i don't want to go to that you know birthday party or whatever oh opting out eh? yeah okay totally opt out if you can hide the opportunities from everybody um <laughs> see we have the we have the giant wall calendar well, yeah, it, don't put it on the calendar. Everybody said, what? Don't put what on the calendar? <laughs> Anything that you don't want to do. <laughs> oh, no. That's not, yeah, no, Brad's actually really good with the calendar. So, oh. not, yeah, which is fine. It. It's great because it's communicative. I'm, I'm okay with well, that. Well, that's true. Well, I mean, um, again, you're lucky that, that he actually looks at the giant wall calendar, although you've made it so it's so giant that you can't help but look at it. Yes, because I need it. I need yes. a reminder of like when I need to do things. But I, um, Brad is really, so my, my thing is that Brad is always saying, well, if you need help, just ask. I'm like, or you could just do it or you could just, yeah, look around, exactly. or you could just open your eyes. I don't know. Open your eyes. Options. <laughs> exactly. That drives me nuts too. Yeah. Like, so now you're putting it on me. Yeah. I want to help you. I want to do things. I want to help like, you, yes, but you but, just got to ask. Yeah. Well, yeah. How about you? You become aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Just open up your eyes and say, oh, look, <laughs> this floor looks dirty. I should probably clean this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So more on this survey. So top five skills that moms are confident they have mm-hmm. are problem solving, nurturing, yeah, agreed. nurturing, agreed, multitasking, agreed, organization and time management, agreed, and communication skills. I think I'm good at communicating most of the time, but sometimes I clam up because I just get tired of communicating. <laughs> I don't like confrontation. I mean, at home, I'm fine yeah. with confrontation. Like, I'm like, you know, I try to keep it to a minimum because I don't want to, because Brad's not good with confrontation at all. He just doesn't like it oh, at all. Jerry's and terrible about it. Yes. I don't like it at work, but at home, I'm like, let's let's figure this out. Let's, like, like, let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> work, I'm like, but I don't care. Just tell me what I need to do. I think most people don't like conf- a confrontation. You know? I disagree. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't think, but I don't think that. it's, I don't think it's that they're, they, they, they don't think of it as confrontation. They think of it as being like straight to the point. Okay. And okay. there are people that, that really are effective at this. And I think, you know, the people that are effective, they're just really amazing at it because they can say it in a way that isn't, doesn't feel confrontational, but like feels right. like you that, know, that's problem a true, solving. Yeah, that is a true skill. Definitely. Yeah, as opposed to you know, some people that yeah, you're just like like they'll just be like, what are you doing? And you're like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm like, kiss yeah. me, I'm whatever you need. Because I just yep. don't like it. I don't like the like you can say, hey, let's check in on this. And I don't know. Anyway, I don't I'm not skilled at that. So <laughs> I'm not I can't give you any advice on how to do it. There you go. Okay, Brad's so pretty then- good at it, but I don't know. Also on this on this survey, the top five challenges mom face on a regular basis are mm. None school of time. stuff. Oh, I'm sorry <laughs> uh, that you're asking stuff. me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Well, that's the next one. School stuff is the first one. Mm-hmm. Not enough me time. Mm-hmm. Uh, financial struggles. Mm-hmm. Yes. Dealing with kids' medical needs and health. Yes. Mm-hmm. And their kids misbehaving in general. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, those are all true. And well, in the medical needs and health, like, as Luke said the other day, he's like, man, you know, he had to get his blood drawn because he has to get it checked every so often with the medication he's on. Mm-hmm. And he's like, man, you know, going to all these doctor's appointments is just t- so time consuming. I'm like, yeah. Could you imagine, imagine what it's like to set him up? 
Yeah, set them all up, keep track of them, remind you of them, listen to you bitch about it, and have to do my own medical needs. Yeah, <laughs> what's that Take like? Take my crap. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll say uh, Brad has to do a lot of that stuff. So, like, I make the appointments and stuff like that, but if there's anything questionable about insurance and, like, what things cost, I, I make uh-huh. him handle it because he knows how to navigate the TRICARE system. Yeah, well, that's good. I mean, and not me. I'm just like I escalate. I'm like, Burr. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and then here we go. This makes total sense. Finally, on the survey, uh, moms were asked when they don't know how to handle something, handle a situation, mm-hmm. who they turn to, and mm-hmm. the top person they turn to is their best friend, other moms. Yep. <sighs> yes, eighty three percent lean on other moms for support and advice. Uh, yeah. Yep. Totally. It, it's just, yeah. It would be like going to your husband about, you know, uterus problems. Like they're not, they're not, <laughs> not going to know. <laughs> yes. My uterus is not feeling quite right today. Yeah. Can you tell me about my pelvic floor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, everybody does have a pelvic floor, but, uh, um, but yeah, like I, I understand that. Absolutely. Because I feel like husbands a lot of times go right into problem solving mode. Yeah. And you're like, sometimes I just want to bitch. Yeah, exactly. Bitch. Well, and sometimes too, you talk about something out loud and it kind of takes you to a solution, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You just, just naturally like yeah. bounce ideas. Yeah. Agreed. So it's helpful. Thus, <laughs> I can't mom today podcast. Yeah. We <laughs> We're always here. If you have a question or anything, you can always email <laughs> us. Uh, I can't mom today podcast at gmail.com. Yeah. We love helping others. And it, it, you know, it may be like, we have no idea what you're like going through. So we would put it out on, we could put it out on Facebook for you, whatever. Yeah. You know, which the group, by the way, is a private group. So yes. Yes. You know. So if you ever, if you aren't already a member and you'd like to join, you're welcome to, but also if you put something out there, it's just, you know, it's only a select, select, I can't mom today, people. Mm-hmm. And oh, we, yeah. uh, you can always email it to us and we are happy to put it on, in the group for you and you can watch it that way. We will never, yeah. never disclose anyone's identity ever, ever, ever. Right. Yes. Yeah. So we we're, we're more than glad to keep it private, which reminds me, by the way, what? Um, if you have, if people have, if you have not, we still have, I can't mom today stickers. Oh yeah. So if you would like one, and I finally mailed some to you, Heather, you should be getting them in the next day or two. I can't wait. I'll wait. I'll look at my informed delivery. <laughs> but uh, you know on that note if you send us your mailing address don't worry we're not going to m- send you anything else after that we'll, yep. we'll tear it up mm-hmm. but if you'd like a free i can't mom today uh sticker with our fun logo on it uh your just send us your, you know email us your uh address and we'll send you one free of charge no shipping or handling yeah i'm even willing to send it internationally that would be really cool i would love to see where yeah. people are from yeah that would be fun yeah yeah, definitely. We'll 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 absorb the shipping costs. Yes. <laughs> It'll come in an envelope. Yeah, but it would be cool though. Yeah, when you do get it, take a picture of wherever you stick it. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, and tag us in it. Yeah. That'd be neat. Yeah. All right. Until next time, if you have any ideas, hit us up on the Facebook group. And until next time, have a great day. Bye. Bye.